Remember, we don't need a revolution because a revolution is one complete turn and you're right back where you started. And that's where America is right now. Hi, everyone. Hey, this is Dave Frank and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've got to admit, I don't know much about this, but I've got a great friend helping me. And our goal is to get a plan out for fixing America with your phone and your voice. We really don't need politicians any longer. And after this last election, if someone's not excited about that, I don't know how to help you. This YouTube channel is about taking back and fixing America. And it's the answer is right in front of us. It's very simple. This phone right here, your phone, will give you the voice to start reinventing the kind of country that you want to live in community by community. I think we're all waking up to the fact that politics isn't working in America. I think if we look at every part of America today, the education system, the healthcare system, the infrastructure, just every part of America, we're seeing that the politicians really aren't going to fix America for us. It's really up to we the people, and that's why the Constitution said we the people. And we now have the technology today that they didn't have back in the 1700s to really change the way we do things in America. We have the technology now to give each and every one of you a real and equal voice on the issues that affect your life, your community, your country, and your world. The thing I want to talk to you about today is a very simple plan. It won the Dr. Martin Luther King Award here in Indiana. And it's a plan that fulfills the dream of Dr. King by giving everyone a real and equal voice on those issues that we talked about. So this is the plan. It's called One Voice Now. One Voice Now uses 21st century technology today and that we didn't have back in the 1700s. And, you know, remember in the Constitution, it said, we the people. And after the Constitution was written, there was something called the Declaration of Independence. And the Declaration of Independence tells us through time that our founders believed that after a while, our republic was going to be corrupted. And that's why the term absolute power corrupts absolutely. That's where it comes from. But the Declaration of Independence is about our founders telling us that it's not only our right, but our duty to change our system when it gets this bad. And I think everyone can agree after watching this last election that things are bad. When you don't have a good election system, things are bad. So what we can do now is do what our founders told us to do and change the system. But we don't change it from the top down because remember, top down systems benefit the people at the top. That's why 5% of the people in America now control 80% of the wealth, which means 95% of us are fighting over the 20% that's left. It's all been sucked out of our communities by the politicians and their taxes and the corporations. So what we've got to do is we've got to rebuild America from the ground up. We have the technology now to do it. So here's the plan. America owns a TV station and every community has access to it. It started back in 1969. It's called public broadcasting. And America was excited when it came out because we thought, hey, we're gonna have, the, have America have a real voice now. But the reality is, is that the federal, state, and local government didn't want that to happen. They don't want us to have a voice and they started funding public broadcasting immediately. And that's why instead of having our voices heard over public broadcasting, we're watching antique roadshow and cartoons and 60s music. Well, we need a movement in America. You know, there are a lot of movements happening right now, uh, but we need our own movement. And it, and it needs to be called One Voice Now. And very simply, not violently, but through communication technology, we want to demand that our local public broadcasting facilities that belong to you, that they're now used no longer for antique road show and cartoons and 60s music, but they're used to give you and every person in your community a real and equal voice on the issues in your community. The education issues, the environment issues, the tax issues, healthcare, infrastructure, whatever it is. One Voice Now and public broadcasting now being used as your local issues TV, radio, and internet channel can give each and every one of us a real and equal voice on those issues. So the plan is, is for us to stand up as a community and demand that we change the format of our local public broadcasting stations 
to be used as our local issues, TV, radio, and internet channels. This will be the communication tool that we need in our communities so that when people in your community have an idea to make education better, environment, taxation, whatever it is, they'll be able to present their ideas directly to the community over the TV. We'll simulcast it over the radio and live stream it over the internet. So everybody has an opportunity to hear these ideas. We'll debate these ideas because we want people to be educated on these different ideas so that they can look at it in different perspectives. And then just like we're voting on American Idol, Dancing with the Stars, the next country Western song to be played, you'll be able to vote with any touchtone phone. Very simply, what you'll do is you'll call a local number. It'll go into a community database. So it will have your ID number and PIN number, ask you what issue number you'd like to vote on, press one for yes, two for no, count your vote, block you out from voting more than once, and we can now have decisions made the way our founders wanted them to be made of the people, by the people, and for the people. It's really that simple. The exciting thing about it is when we start doing this, when we start making our education system better and our environment better and find a better tax system, better healthcare system, when we find things in our community, we'll share that with all the other communities. And when they find things that work in their community, they'll share it with us and we can start rebuilding America from the ground up, the way it was supposed to be built. So anyway, that's the plan. I hope you like it. You know, there are people, a lot of people that are afraid that we're in the middle or starting a revolution. Now, remember, we don't need a revolution because a revolution is one complete turn and you're right back where you started. And that's where America is right now. But America started its revolution violently and we're now learning that violence only begets violence. We now have the communication technology that God has dropped into our laps to allow all of us to start working together, to be interconnected, and to really evolve into the adults that we're supposed to be, where we're responsible for our communities and our kids and their kids, not the government. And I think and I hope we're all learning that 545 people in Washington, D.C., are not going to fix our communities. They really don't care about us other than our money. I think we're all starting to learn that the 150 people in state capitals are not going to fix our communities. They really don't care about us. All they care about is our money. And the nine people on the city council and the mayor, same story. What we've got to do is we've all got to start working together and all start building the kind of community that we want for ourselves and our children and their children. And we can do it. And you know, one of the big things that people are upset about right now is equality, or I should say inequality. The exciting thing about One Voice Now is it gives everybody a real and equal voice. And really you can't have equality until everybody has an equal voice. We can't have equality in America if 545 people in Washington have a voice and 320 million of us don't. And we can't have equality if 150 people in it, uh, your state capital have a voice and 6 million of us don't. And we can't have equality if nine people on a city council and a mayor have a voice and we have 267,000 people in our community. The trick is, is all of us working together. And remember, the all-knowing is what we all know. And what One Voice Now is it interconnects us as brain cells so that we can all start working together and making this country and our communities better. And the only way we're going to fix America is if everybody gets busy in their own community, makes it better, and the next thing you know, America will be fixed. The politicians don't have a plan for us. Changing the players is not going to fix a corrupt system. It's up to us now to evolve into adulthood and start taking back our, our communities nonviolently using the technology that we all have. We're the owners of this country. We've been given this country to take care of. We're the caretakers. It wasn't given to 545 in Washington or 150 in state capitals or nine town town. It came, we're, all the, we're all the owners and it's up to us to make this country better for future generations. My name is David Frank. I hope you like this idea. I hope you share it with everyone that you know. We can do this, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot do this alone. 
You can't do it alone, but together in the right plan, we can make this world, this country, better for future generations. Thanks so much for listening. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every time there's a new video. Please share this with everyone. I love you. Take care.